Hello again, everybody. Marcus here. I review stuff. Today, I'm reviewing the song The Dark Side by Muse. So, for those of you who uh, maybe have not watched my, my videos much this week, um, I have taken every single request that I've received, ever, that I haven't reacted to yet. I put it into this Google Sheet. I hit the randomize button three times. The top result is what I listen to. So this particular song is the one that uh, most recently won the randomizer. And so that's what we're listening to. Uh, if you're a friend of the channel, you know that I've listened to Muse quite a bit at this point. So you know, I, you know, I kind of know their style. Uh, you know, I'm kind of in the same camp where I, I like older Muse, but you know, uh, the near Muse, it's got some good stuff on it too, so I'm hoping this is one of the good new remises, not one of the bad new remises. All right, let's listen. Muse, the dark side. Let's go. For you Muse fans, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize in advance that I'm not doing it live because it seems uh, everyone wants live Muse always. But anyway, here we go. Some of you hardcore Muse fans may hate me for saying this, but I like that a lot. <laughs> like, 
I know it's newer Muse, you know, I know we don't, we're not supposed to like new Muse, but hey man, I thought that was fantastic, that was great. Um, just real catchy, loved the whole just sort of cyberpunk feel, I mean, I'm, I'm, the whole time I'm staring at this uh, album artwork here, I'm just like, that is so cool looking, I'm like looking at Matt Bellamy's face, just the detail on that and all the lights and everything, the little like werewolf in the bottom for whatever reason and stuff, like, I mean, I, I know I'm not praising the song at the moment, I'm just praising the album artwork, but it was just really cool. Um, love that cyberpunk feel, uh, and you get you got that a lot in the music itself, which was great. Uh, you know, I, I think that what part of what makes this song as as good as it is, I think, is that you do actually I feel like get glimpses of of past Muse. I feel like Matt Bellamy to me sat here sounds a lot more like what I've become used to see uh, hearing him versus what I've heard him in in, in some of uh, the newer Muse songs. Um, but yeah, I was very impressed by this one. Uh, I thought the instrumentation was great, very catchy, easy to listen to. Uh, I thought his voice was great. Again, uh, classic Muse style, I feel like. And uh, just the aesthetic of it. You know, if you're just talking about aesthetics, that, again, that cyberpunk feel, I think, was just a lot of fun. So I had a great time listening to this one. This is a good song. Um, so anyway, let's break it down like we always do, of course, starting with the lyrics. So uh, the, as always, there's some information here. I do use Genius to, to look at my lyrics. So... Uh, it says, Dark Side was written on Matt's vehicle registration plate in something hu uh, human music video. That's cool. I haven't heard that song yet. I, I did see that there was a music video for this song as well, but I, just, I chose not to watch it just because music videos tend to get blocked a little bit more frequently than non-music videos, especially for Muse. So I was like, I'm going to stay away from it for now. But uh, yeah, a bunch of information here. Let's see. As Lance Drake, director of the music video, stated, The Dark Side is about fear, paranoia, mental illness, and depression. Sometimes a dream is a nightmare, and grand visions are, in fact, crumbling illusions. Don't get caught up in the upside down. Keep driving. You know, that, that, that does seem to fit, just because that is a pretty popular theme with Muse, I feel like. You know, they, they write about these things a lot. Um, and so, yeah, there's a lot more information here. I'd rather not read all of it and just kind of formulate my opinion on the lyrics myself. So let me go back up here, and let's read them. Verse 1, I have lived in darkness for all my life. I've been pursued. You'd be afraid if you could feel my pain and if you could see the things I am able to see. Break me out, break me out, let me flee, break me out, break me out, set me free. It's interesting. Uh, it sounds to me like somebody who, who knows too much, right? And then they got people after them, you know, uh, which I think would really fit with that sci-fi cyberpunk vibe that, that I'm getting from this, this particular song. Um, I hail from the dark side. For all my life, I've been besieged. Uh, you'd be scared. Uh, you'd be scared living with my despair. And if you could feel the things I am able to feel, so this is someone who knows too much. They're in too deep. Uh, but they're tough. You know, anyone else would would crumble under this immense pressure that they're under. Uh, break me out, break me out, let me flee. Break me out, break me out, set me free. Break me out, break me out, let me flee. Break me out, break me out, set me free. Save me from the dark side. Break me out, break me out, set me free. I can definitely see how this would maybe be about depression, illness, paranoia, you know, all that kind of stuff. Mental illness, I should say. Um, I could see that, you know, it could be that, you know, part of this difficulty that he's going through is his depression. Or it could be that uh, this difficulty he's going through is just a, a symptom of paranoia versus anything that he's actually going through. So this is a, I mean, I guess the paranoia is something you actually go through. I, I just mean mentally versus physically, I suppose. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I thought it was interesting. Uh, the lyrics were, were cool, simple, but cool. Uh, again, I think the lyrics here fit the vibe. You know, that, that's the thing too, is that you, you can write whatever you want for the lyrics, but I feel like, the, you know, they should really usually fit with w what kind of song you're trying to make. And I feel like this one really fit for me. Um, and just, uh, yeah, really cool. Two thumbs up. Not much else to say about that. Uh, as far as the instrumentation and the vocals go, like I said, I really enjoyed uh, Matt Bellamy here. I feel like he sounded a little bit more close to what I really love about hearing his voice. You know, I've said for, for many videos now, for as long as I've been listening to Muse on this channel, I've said that uh, Matt Bellamy makes Muse for me. That Muse is not Muse without Matt Bellamy because it just it, he is just uh, a phenomenal guitarist, uh, keyboardist, synthesizer, synthesis, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, uh, synthesizer player, whatever, uh, and uh, fantastic vocalist. So I feel like he really makes it for me here. Uh, without him, this song would truly be uh, maybe not as good as, as I think it, it, it is currently. So, uh, him on the vocals, fantastic. Um, of course, does lead guitar, which I thought was funny. You know, and that's the thing, I, I wasn't really sure 
uh, many times what I was listening to. I was like, okay, is this sound made by guitar? Is it being made by synthesizer? Is it being made by keyboard? Regardless, it's probably Matt Bellamy behind it. Um, but it, it's interesting because, you know, there's been videos in the past where I'm like, oh, I really love the guitar part in that. And you guys will tell me, oh, that guitar part was actually Matt uh, Matt's vocals. And he was, like, messing around with some, like, vocalizer or something like that. And I was like, whoa, or I'd be like, oh man, that dubstep sound was really cool. And you guys would tell me like, oh, that dubstep sound was actually just Matt on his guitar. So, uh, like, you know, I don't, I don't, really, I don't really know what I heard throughout the song. If it was Matt using like an eye tracker to, I, I don't know, play some garage band guitar or something, or you're gonna tell me that he was like playing with his toes on this one or something. But, uh, you know, I, I, whatever it was, it sounded fantastic. Again, it gave it that sort of a uh, cyberpunk feel. Um, you know, the drum work was interesting to me because it stuck out a couple of times uh, as being almost kind of generic. And I don't mean that in a bad way. Like, let me finish my thought here before you start getting mad at me. Uh, I liked the drums throughout, but you had those moments like, doo -doo 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 -doo, where it was just like very like uh, sci-fi generic, very like uh, cyberpunk sounding, uh, like 80s synth uh, wave sounding, uh, but I think it really worked here, and I, I don't want you to mistake me, just because I, I, I'm calling it maybe generic or even cliche or, or even kind of cheesy, um, I don't think it was bad, I actually think it added a whole lot to the song, that it really set it, uh, because of that drum part, it really took this song and it placed it in a very specific environment, it placed it in a very specific tone, uh, so that drum work really, really worked for me here, I don't want to, I don't want you to uh, think I'm, I'm, I'm knocking it, I, as a matter of fact, it's the total opposite, that was a very smart, stylistic choice uh, to do the drums the way they did it, and then um, as far as the bass go, I assume a lot of what we heard there um, throughout the song was the bass with kind of the groove that we were hearing. So uh, great work uh, throughout. You know, th this three piece of musicians that is Muse, uh, they do a fantastic job. And you can see there's so many other people involved as well. But, uh, you know, Matt, whatever Matt Bellamy touches to me, I, I think has this sort of veneer of excellence just automatically. Like even with songs from Muse I don't like. I, like I did not like Propaganda. But because it had Matt Bellamy's fingerprints on it, there were parts of it that I really did like, actually. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's weird because it's like, because Matt Bellamy is attached to the project, there is sort of a baseline of quality. Uh, and then, like, you know, it can either go up a lot, in, in some cases, like Map, Map of the Problematique or Knights of Sidonia or something like that. Or it can just, you know, kind of stay stagnant in, in some ways as well, like Propaganda. But um, regardless, I think it was a fantastic song. Uh, two thumbs up instrumentally, vocally. I thought it was great. Um, and then as far as replay value goes, you know, this one's going on the playlist. It, it, no ends, 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 if ands or buts about it. It's going on the playlist. I really had a fun time listening to this one. Uh, again, really gave me some classic Muse vibes, some cyberpunk vibes, some sort of 80s synth wave, uh, 80s, yeah, that whole thing. Um, that was a lot of fun to listen to. So just a fantastic song. Uh, love the cyberpunk aesthetic. Can't get over it. I'm so excited for Cyberpunk 2077. Anything that can remind me of it uh, just makes me slightly happier every day. Uh, so yeah, enjoyed the song. Two thumbs up across the board if I haven't said that already. Uh, thank you for whoever requested this one. You know, uh, Muse fans, I promise you, there is some good newer Muse out there that you guys have t been telling me about. Uh, you know, don't get me wrong, a lot of their classics are still my favorite, uh, but some of the newer stuff has been pretty good. It's been pretty good. You know, it's hit and miss, but it's pretty good. Uh, so that's it for me. If you enjoyed the music as much as I did, definitely go support the artists. Go listen to their music wherever you can. One place you can definitely find plenty of Muse at this point is in my Spotify playlist. In the description below has every single song I've heard so far on my channel. If you want to support me, just all the normal stuff you do on YouTube, you know, like and subscribe and comment. All right. I don't know if I'm going to continue using the randomizer for next week. I'm going to kind of wait till I get some feedback. You know, I am always a week ahead uh, when it comes to recording videos. So I'm recording this video right now before anyone has seen my whole randomizer idea play out. So uh, instead of picking this, the next song I'm going to listen to right now, I'm just going to wait. I'm going to hold off on that, wait on that, uh, see what some of the feedback is, and then we'll go from there. All right. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, you know, hope you guys are staying safe and healthy as always, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.